hello viewers welcome back so in the last tutorial we left from here so we have created res block convolutional and base normalization and i have made a mistake out there you can see i have I have given plus so just make it equal so now i will be creating another function def right out there darknet 53 so by using the above functions i will be making this resnet 53 block so just pass out there input data or input layer pass anything so input data equal to res block so i will be passing input data through a uh, convolutional block so convolutional and for the first one so if i see the image of the skeleton of this block so let's see so this is the block out there you can see and uh, we have uh, convolutional block convolutional block convolutional block convolutional block residual block so for the first one i will be giving a convolutional block and again convolutional block and i will be passing a loop of one for this skeleton convolutional convolutional and residual and again i will be defining a convolutional block and now i will be passing a for loop of two so that this convolutional convolutional and residual block is implemented twice and then i will be defining a convolutional block normal and after that i will be passing a i will be defining a for loop of eight and so that this block is uh, executed for three uh, eight times and then again normal convolutional and again eight time execution of this block then normal convolutional and four time execution of this block so that's uh, let's go to the code and see how to implement this okay uh, here we begin convolutional and i will be passing the input data and give a uh, filter shape and you know already know the filter shape is of kernel size kernel size and uh, the number of channels and uh, the number of filters so for the first convolutional layer i will be passing a 3 by 3 kernel and filter uh, number of filters will be 32 and uh, since i have a RGB image so there will be three channels so let's go define it uh, three 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 and for the first one I will be giving a 32 and input layer again equal to uh, now I will be passing a convolutional layer and give out their input and give the uh, what should I say three by three and you can see uh, here I will be giving 32 channels since after this convolution that number of the three channel will be turned into 32 channels since there are 32 filters so 64 and I will be change the down sample equal to true so by default down sample is false so here I need down sampling for the reason I have made that true now pass a for loop for i in range of 1 so this block will be executed only once then pass out there input data so input data equal to res block so res block give out there input data input data and i have to give the number of channels out there so after convolution uh, this input layer will have 64 channels so pass out there 64 channels and then I have to pass the number of filter for the first convolution so for the first convolution I will be giving 32 filters and for the second convolution I will be giving again 64 filters and okay so just come out of the loop and input data equal to I will be giving convolutional and write out their input data and i'll be passing a three by three filter 
shape and 64 uh, the number of channels and 128 and here I will be do, uh, doing down sampling so down sample equal to make it true okay then for I in range of 2 then I will be executing is 2 so input data equal to res block res block and give out their input data and number of channels obviously 121 uh, 128 and for the first convolution I will be giving a uh, number of filters equal to 64 and 100 64 so 64 the first filter will be 64 the second filter will be 128 fine and there will be no down sampling okay fine and after that come out of the loop now convolutional then input data make the filter shape equal to uh, 3 by 3 of 128 by 256 okay so this is the filter shape and where this one is the channel channel size 128 3 by 3 is the kernel size and uh, 256 is the number of filters I am going to use now I will be doing some down sample so just make it true okay now I'll be going for a loop of 8 so just write out the range of 8 and input data equal to res block so res block will be executed for 8 times and I'll be giving input data out there and the number of channels will be obviously 256 and 128 and 256 so 256 out there now I will be showing you a important uh, picture of the skeleton of the uh, architecture of the uh, what should I say yellow bridge tree okay I will be showing the skeleton of yellow bridge tree through a picture so let's go so look at the picture here and you can see so this is the image which I am passing out there so residual uh, convolutional residual 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 and uh, for a for loop of 8 after that I have a output out there and another output out there okay so this output will go here and this output will go for convolution so I am keeping a root out there for our uh, future purpose of using just go out there common blocks and now I am keeping a root so just write out there root so write root 1 1 and equal to input so I have to make it hopefully now you can see better okay now Input data now input data I'll be passing through a convolutional and input make it here so input data will be having a shape of 3 by 3 and 256 number of channels and uh, I'll be giving filter size uh, number of filters is equal to 252 okay and here I'll be making down sampling equal to so up to now I am now just go forward and I'll be passing another follow for I in range of 8 then input data will go for another uh, res block so res block and give out their input data and give out their 512 256 and 500 
Now, again, follow the picture here. So, after here, I will make another uh, output. So, after a for loop of 8, then you can see there are two paths. So, I will be giving another path out there. So, give out there root 2 equal to input. Now, again, input data will go for a convolutional and pass out the input data and give the filters out there 3 by 3 then how many filters 512 and 1024 and down sample equal to true so make it true out there now i'll be going for again for i in range of 4 now input data will be equal to rest block now i will be giving input and number of channels is 1024 out there and number of filters for the first one will be how many filters 512 and for the second one it will be 104 there will be no down sampling okay so after that i will be returning from this function so just write over the return uh, return root 1 root 2 and input. so if you follow the picture over there so i am here after 4 uh, 4 times residual block then i am giving the input here so this is input data out there okay now i am i will be needed another uh, element uh, which is known as down sampling so just define that some uh, function down sample so input data equal to return tensor for dot image dot resize equal to input uh, data and give out there input data dot shape so I will be giving the shape of one okay so the first element so shape zero will be the number of base size and face shape uh, shape one will be the uh, number of features okay into two so i'll be making it double and and input data dot shape again shape take the second element and pass out there double it so okay so this is all I have to pass and I have to define another thing so what is the method I am going to apply so obviously the method will be of uh, nearest okay so this is all so this is the whole uh, con, uh, common block dot pi uh, file okay i have functions named uh, up sample functions named down uh, dark net 53 res block and convolutional and a class of batch normalization okay so from the next tutorial i will be going for another uh, so i will be uh, defining method dot pi so see you then and up to the stable thanks for watching